Hello everyone and welcome to Dueling with Downton and thank you for joining me as we go over episode 30 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's anime series. A very over the top episode with a lot of comedy, however it was rather enjoyable. As we get to see a brother and sister dynamic between both Rook and Haruka, aka Tiger. So I want to start this video off by talking about that dynamic between the two characters. As throughout this episode we see Rook constantly hiding and cowering in fear while acting very terrified of his sister which you could say most likely stems from his countless failures at trying to best her in any form of competition. We see a flashback in where they're both younger and there's loads of items and toys scattered across the courtyard basically telling us as the viewer that he's tried besting her in many different competitive uh, sports or games and he's been a failure in every single one of them. So to Rook, he probably views his sister as this strong, crazy, angry, unbeatable figure. Constantly defeating him and putting him down time and time again, which over time, especially when you're young, that could very much destroy your confidence in life and moving forward. So seeing Rook be full of confidence when he's not around his sister, but then when he's with his sister, it probably brings back those bad memories and those feelings of overwhelming helplessness and reminds him of the past, hence to why we see a very dramatic character shift within Rook as a person. He becomes this timid, shy, scared creature of a character when he's with his sister, but when he's not with his sister, he's kind of this happy-go-lucky, crazy, jokey type of character. So seeing her, his sister lose at the end of this episode might have been very, very um, awakening, awakening, or, you know, saving for him. He's found out that this unbeatable figure in his life can, in fact, be beaten. So it probably gave Rook a big confidence boost. Although from Haruka's perspective, this isn't what she wanted. She wanted her brother to grow up and find something that he's really good at and that he wants to do in life. Hence the why she would accept his challenges and give her best in every challenge to push him to grow stronger and stronger. Plus, we learn that she's been watching him from within the shadows because she witnessed a duel between him and Yuga in episode 2, which was a great callback that actually made sense. Yes, even the part about her being on the roof, I thought made sense because we've seen just how bizarre she is already throughout this episode before that information arises. So one line that was used that I really did love when setting up the duel between Yuga and Haruka, aka Rook's sister, was the mention that she is so strong that she has even beaten Rook. Now, we've seen just how good of a duelist Rook actually is. His win streak is phenomenal. He's got the best win record out of any Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s character, but the fact that the group of Roman, Gakuto and Yuga are all kind of shocked and show a reaction to this revelation I thought gave Haruka's character a lot more viability, a lot more substance, when making the idea of having a duel between her and Yuga more interesting. Because it takes it from, oh, Yuga's dueling another side character, which means he's going to absolutely wipe the floor with them, to Yuga's facing a side character that is said to be better than the rival, who is the best duelist that we know so far. That, for me, just makes it seem a lot more interesting and more worth my time, if I'm honest with you. Haruka, the character, was very over the top, very comedic, but in a different way than her younger brother. Yet, it was still really entertaining. She has a brilliant design that I really do love, and I really like the voice acting that accompanied her character. I thought both paired very nicely to create a nice character that I would love to see again in the future. Personally speaking, I would love a duel in a dual rush duel tournament between Rook and Haruka, as it would be a great way to show a family development and Rook overcoming this impossible figure that he has in his life currently. The duel itself was pretty okay. I found myself more focused on the characters surrounding the duel, more so the duel that was in progress. But seeing the card known as Sparks come back again was really cool. That's an OG card coming back. Yuga's new monster was quite powerful. Its effect is that it lowers the opponent's monster attack by 1,000 per spell and trap card that you sacrifice. But the effect can only be activated 
if you have the same amount of spell and trap cards on the field as your opponent. So I thought that was pretty good. It's a nice effective spell that would be quite powerful in quite a lot of situations, but it does have a very heavy requirement. If your opponent doesn't play spell or trap cards, then you can't really use it. Both duelists do share a similar battle style, you're in using monsters from your GY to power up your monsters on the field. So this change of dynamic was quite refreshing considering the Suchiko versus Roman duel we had a couple of episodes ago and where the two characters dueled with countering styles. But I do have to ask the question, how did Gakuto fall for those fake postcards and excuses from uh, Rant and Rinosuke about both going on holiday with their family to a hot springs. That's of course covering up the lie that they're now working for the uh, cavalry machine club of Goha 6 elementary, if I remember correctly. But hey, I guess there's more fuel for the rivalry, I guess. Because obviously that's now being built up more and more. The fact that Rins, Rans and Rinosuke aren't actually at the school anymore wasn't something that crossed my mind last week, but yeah, it makes sense. Nice the fact that they covered that and kind of tied it off. So overall this episode was really fun, enjoyable, creative. Yes, it was a bit over the top and a bit crazy, but the new character of Haruka was a great addition and she showcased a lot of personality and a lot of skill. I want to see this character come back again. I did hint at the fact that I would love to see a duel between herself and Rook to kind of get that family development moving and for her to kind of have closure and clarity that her younger brother is doing okay and is improving in what he loves to do. The question does still remain though, will we see a real trumpet duet competition on screen within Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens? Now that our main protagonists and characters and heroes are learning breathing techniques to help them with their uh, wind in instrument playing. Uh, considering it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens and the wacky crazy stuff they've done so far, I would probably say, yeah, we are going to see one. And was I the only one who thought of Demon Slayer, the anime series? Um, when this episode kept mentioning the fact that Haruka is now found that breathing is the key to winning battles and fights. Yeah, it really kind of reminded me of Demon Slayer a lot. <laughs> I was half expecting her to kind of reference that, but I guess that would be too much for a studio to do. But hey, one can dream. The comedy was really good, seeing the brother and sister interactions felt realistic and the animation was okay, it wasn't too bad. So overall, really enjoyable, really fun, really creative, great voice acting and a great new character introduced. That just sums up my thoughts on the episode. Let me know your thoughts on the character of Haruka and the episode itself in the comment section down below. If you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new so you never miss a video from me and for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content in the future. Have a great day, have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Aligator, matane, goodbye.